Hey, I'm Sam from Barn2, and if you're looking for a quick and easy way to edit the sale badge in your WooCommerce store, then you've come to the right video. First, I'll show you how to use custom PHP and CSS snippets to edit the text, color, styling, and more. Then for those of you who aren't into custom coding, I'll show you four plugins that can take care of all the technical stuff for you. And as a bonus, I'll show you how to automate store-wide sales and bulk discounts in WooCommerce. So first of all, we can use a little bit of PHP to edit the actual text of the sale badge, changing it from something like sale to maybe clearance or Black Friday or something like that. So first you want to access the functions.php file of your site's child theme. You can do this through your hosting provider, cPanel, and SFTP client like FileZilla, or the theme file editor in WordPress. Now it's important to not edit your main themes functions.php file, as this can be erased in future updates of your theme. So to access it, go to your theme file editor and then click on theme functions. If the page is completely blank, you just need to add this little PHP line at the very beginning, and you only need one for the entire file. And then you can copy and paste the code from the blog post linked below in the description. Now, in the code that you're given, you'll need to change the text from new text to something of your choice. And I've written clearance in this case, then click on update file. Now, when you go to your store and find an item on sale, you'll see that instead of sale, it now says clearance, which matches the text that I've added here. So if it's not enough to just edit the text on the sale badge, then the little bit of CSS that I'll show you will be able to edit the styling of the badge. So you can make basic customizations like changing the colors, adjusting sizes, or adding borders to the sale badge. You can also use CSS animations to add dynamic effects to the sale badge. But I'm not gonna go into that in this video as it's something if you're already a more advanced user, then you can just do that yourself. First step to using our CSS styling is to first inspect the sale badge element on our web page. Let's come here and right click and then inspect. And here we have the span class on sale. So we'll keep that in mind for later. Now, in this case, the code in our blog is going to match this on sale tag. If it doesn't say on sale, it might say something else and the code will have to be adjusted as such but that's way more technical than I can go into for this video. So the next step just depends on what you would like the sale badge to look like. If you have any particular colors in mind or fonts that you want to use, you should take the hex code for the colors and the rest we will figure out as we go through the code. And by the way, if you don't know what you're doing, you can always consult a developer or even check with AI to see if it gives you something useful. Keep in mind that AI is not perfect, but for such simple CSS customizations, it will probably manage just fine. Now, once again, you do want to be running a child theme or using a plugin to add CSS snippets to your site so that these updates are not removed in future updates of your theme or website. So we'll come into the theme editor and click on additional CSS. And then on the next line here, we'll add our code. We can see immediately that updated. So we have a red background. This is this color here. And if we change this color, it will also change the color on the background. These are just notes here, just to remind you what is being changed. The text color here, if I change that to something else like this, then it's all black and now it's all white. We can also change the border radius. Let's say we wanted just 10% back to 50. And we can also add more padding, like 15 pixels makes it more of a circle. So you get the idea. Now there's a second option we can add, but we should not add both of them at the same time because there could be some conflicting elements. So first we'll remove this here and we'll add the new line like this. Now this has added a clearance banner or ribbon to the sale badge and it's added it on the left side. So you can see the position relative to the badge. It's set to minus 10 pixels and it's set to before. You can even change this to after because this is actually a pseudo element. I changed this one to 10 pixels. Now there's a little bit of a gap there. So we can put the clearance on the other side as well. And of course we can update the colors just like in the last snippet of code. And then once you hit publish, this code will be live on your site. So I know that might be a little bit too technical for some people, although it is fairly simple if you just take a little bit of time to get to know what the different functions are within the CSS. But I understand for some people, they don't wanna touch the code at all. 
So let's move on to some plugins that will do the job for you. First up, we have Yith's WooCommerce Badge Management Plugin. Now this is a freemium plugin that lets you design graphic badges to highlight sales, discounts, or key product features. And you can use its badge builder to create as many different badges as you'd like. You can see them being displayed here in their demo. So this includes all kinds of different sale badges, discounts, etc., etc. And of course, that's not everything it does. It also lets you make advanced customizations such as setting badge sizes and border radius, and then setting padding for text badges or picking the badge position and alignment and a whole lot more. If you wanna check out an admin demo for this plugin, you can check the link in the description below. And then next up, we have the improved sale badges for WooCommerce. And this plugin lets you choose from over 30 unique badge designs to replace the default WooCommerce sale badges. It also lets you tailor the presets and colors of the sale badge to match your brand. So you can use different badges for different products. And if, for example, you're running a Black Friday or Cyber Monday sale where you're offering 65% off some items while other items are buy one get one free you could show the 65% off badge for those items and then the buy one get one free badge as it applies to your other products so basically you can pick and choose where the badges are applied you can combine up to three different badge styles into one and create a special badge an added benefit is that it fully supports the WPML translation plugin so you can use it to sell on sites that translate content to other languages. Moving on, we have another popular freemium plugin, which is product labels for WooCommerce. And it does exactly what it says on the box. It lets WooCommerce admins create a wide range of product badges, including sale badges. You can choose from a wide range of badge styles and options, and it provides a super intuitive interface where you can design badges from scratch and customize the badge color, text, font size, opacity, line height, width, position, and so on. Product labels in WooCommerce standout feature is that it allows you to add the expiry date and time for the badges. So you can schedule how long the sale badge is visible for. And if you prefer, you can opt to hide the default WooCommerce sale badge from products that are on sale or remove sale badges entirely. Once again, if you wanna check out any of these plugins, they're linked in the description below. But I promised you one more plugin at the beginning of this video. If you wanna make your sale promotions really stand out, then the WooCommerce Discount Manager plugin can really take things a step further. While it doesn't directly change the sale badge itself, it lets you add eye-catching promotional banners to product pages and cart pages, perfect for showcasing special offers alongside the default badge. Plus, it helps automate sale pricing. Instead of manually adjusting prices on a product-by-product -product basis, you can create store-wide or even category-based discounts in just a few clicks. Whether you're running a flash sale, offering a bulk discount, or setting up a buy one, get one free deal, this plugin makes managing discounts faster and easier. I'll show you now just how easy it is to set up custom promotions for your entire store. So here I have the WooCommerce Discount Manager plugin. And if I click on settings and click on discounts, we can see I have a bunch of discounts that I've already set up. And this is an example of a Black Friday 30% off discount which is right now enabled on my store. So if I click on edit, you can see it's a simple discount type, but there are many others that I could pick from as well. And I'm applying it to all my products with a 30% off per discount. I could also create a fixed discount, but for store-wide sales, a percentage discount makes a lot more sense. Then I can also display a sale badge on products. That's important as well, considering the topic of this video. And at the moment, I just want this sale to apply to everyone, not just some selected roles or users. And I have no exclusions, but this is something I could also add if necessary. Now here's the cool part. I can set up these dates in advance for when the sale will be applied. So at the moment, this sale would only be applied and well, last year actually. So I would need to jump forward in time to sometime in the future. And then I can set the end date a little bit further ahead as well. But this means that I won't be able to test the sale and see how it looks on my site. So I'm gonna click always available. Now here's where I can set up some special contents. 
At the moment, I just have some text content. I can even add some more visually appealing content like images or really anything that you can add to WordPress normally. I can choose where that content will appear on the product pages. And I can also add a cart notice showing customers that a discount has been applied. And then I'll click on save. So here's an example of a product with the sale applied. You can see the sale badge, which is something we can edit with our plugins or custom code. And then we can see that the sale ends in two days according to the custom content that we added. And when I click on add to basket and go to the basket, you can see the 30% off discount is applied and this is being shown by our plugin. So that wraps up our guide for how to customize the sale badge in WooCommerce. But we've really only just scratched the surface of what you can do with the WooCommerce Discount Manager plugin. If you wanna dive even deeper, you can check out this video next. And of course, you can check out a demo of the plugin by clicking on this link here. And of course, thanks for watching.